Joseph Plateau was a physicist famous for being the first person to demonstrate the illusion of a moving image. In 1832, he created the Phenakistoscope. The device consisted of two counter-rotating discs, one with a window containing regularly spaced slits through which the viewer could look, and another containing a sequence of drawn images. The discs would have to be physically moved by the user, and once in motion, the viewer could look through the slits and witness the combined synchronization of the windows and the images, which in turn created an animated effect. This eventually led to the development of cinema. Joseph Plateau was a physicist famous for being the first person to demonstrate the illusion of a moving image. In 1832, he created the Phenakistoscope. The device consisted of two counter-rotating discs, one with a window containing regularly spaced slits through which the viewer could look, and another containing a sequence of drawn images. The discs would have to be physically moved by the user, and once in motion, the viewer could look through the slits and witness the combined synchronization of the windows and the images, which in turn created an animated effect. This eventually led to the development of cinema. Emile Reynard was a French inventor, responsible for first projected animated cartoons. He invented the Praxinoscope in 1877, which was an animation device that used the strip of pictures placed inside a spinning cylinder using mirrors to reflect the images. One of the animations he is most known for was Theatre Optique, which he made in 1888 and later presented by himself in 1892. It was the first presentation of a projected moving image to an audience. The Lumiere brothers were French inventors and pioneer manufacturers of photographic equipment that devised an early motion picture camera and projector. They held their first private screening of projected motion picture in 1895 and also went on tour with the cinematographer during that year. Although the Lumiere brothers were not the first inventors to develop techniques to create motion pictures, they are often credited as among the first inventors of the technology for cinema as a mass medium and are among the first who understood how to use it. They worked on a number of colour photographic processes in the 1890s, a subtractive colour process, examples that were exhibited in Paris in 1900. Throughout much of the 20th century, the Lumiere Company was major producer of photographic products in Europe, but the brand name Lumiere disappeared from the marketplace, however. They also invented the colour plate, which really got photography on the road. Ray Harryhausen was a visual effect creator, writer and producer. He was first inspired by the 1933 film King Kong, so he spent his early life creating short animation. His first job in the industry was on George Pal's Puppetoons, working on a project called Evolution of the World, which sadly was never finished. However, from that, Harryhausen's first major film was Mighty Joe Young, 1949, with Willis O'Brien. In 1953, Ray Harryhausen created his first solo film, which was titled The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms. It was a major international box office hit from Warner Brothers. Since then, he has created and worked on many other films like Mysterious Island, 1961, and Clash of the Titans, 1981 which had gotten him many awards for stop-motion animation. Jan Svankmajer was born 4th of September 1934. He is a Czech filmmaker and artist whose work spans several media. He is a self-labelled surrealist known for his animations and features, which have generally greatly influenced artists such as Terry Gilliam, the Brothers Quay and many others. Svankmajer has gained a reputation over several decades for his distinctive use of stop-motion technique and his ability to make surreal, nightmarish and set yet somehow funny pictures. Many of his movies, like the short film Down to the Cellar, are made from a child's perspective, while at the same time often have truly disturbing and even aggressive nature. In 1972, the communist authorities banned him from making films, and many of his films later were suppressed. Stephen and Timothy Quay are American identical twin brothers, better known as the Quay brothers. They are both very influ influential in the animation industry. Most of their animation films feature puppets made of doll parts and other organic and inorganic materials, other partially dissembled in a dark, moody atmosphere. Perhaps their best known work is The Street of Crocodiles. This short film was selected by the director and animator Terry Gilling as one of the ten best animated films of all time. 
Tim Burton started making short stop-motion films at the age of 13, and he was heavily influenced by the works of Dr. Zeus and Roald Dahl. He studied character animation at university level, where he made Stork of the Celery Monster, which earned him an apprenticeship at the Walt Disney Studios. He made his first professional stop-motion short in 1982, entitled Vincent, which was based on a poem written by Burton about a young boy who fantasises that he is his hero, actor Vincent Prince. He took a break from animation and directed live-action films such as Beetlejuice, Batman and Edward Scissorhands, before returning to animation with The Nightmare Before Christmas, which helped generate a new found interest in stop-motion animation. Burton has only made two full-length feature animations. Corpse Bride in 2005. She doesn't play piano. Or dance. dance or sing. No, no she, she doesn't, doesn't compare. compare. But she still breathes there. Who cares? Yes. Unimportant. Overrated. Overblown. If, if only he could see how special, special you can be. And a few years later in 2012, he remade his 1984 Frankenweenie into a feature-length stop-motion film. When people think stop motion, they think Aardman animation. Or if not them, then at least likely one of their multi-award winning productions such as Wallace and Gromit, Chicken Run, and Shaun the Sheep. Founded in 1972 by Peter Lord and David Sprockman with dreams of creating stop motion films, but with little money or clout, they first worked for the BBC creating animated sequences for the BBC series Vision On. Later, Ardman provided a series of shorts for Channel 4. One of the shorts, Creature Comforts, was the first Ardman production to win an Oscar. The creator of that short, Nick Park, also developed the clay modeled shorts featuring the adventures of Wallace and Gromit, which would go on to earn Ardman the recognition and acclaim that they sought. Round and round, ticking, talking, barely a sound, past the one. Pass the two. When he uses fire, the giant, fireman Sam is there on time.